morning, a behind the scenes look at the attempt from the left to whitewash Islamic extremism thanks to WikiLeaks. In an email in the wake of the San Bernardino shooting, John Podesta, who works for Hillary Clinton over her campaign, he comments on MSNBC's Chris Hayes's reporting. He wrote, Chris Hayes put on Twitter, he said, uh, well, he talked about the San Bernardino shooter, and he just put that out on Twitter, said the guy's name, which was Saeed Farouk. Then John Podesta, this was his response in an email to the Clinton campaign people, thanks to WikiLeaks. He said, better if the guy named Saeed Farouk was reporting that a guy named Christopher Hayes was the shooter. Wow. Fox News contributor and U.S. Army veteran Pete Hexeth joins us now to talk about this. That yeah. was pretty shocking this morning when I read it. Shocking, but incredibly revealing and telling of the... In absolute mindset of the left. When, they, when something like this happens, they want to do anything possible to deny that would have any tie whatsoever to Islam, Islamism, and they certainly won't use that word. It all draws back to the president, it all draws back to this left wing ideology. They, it's a postmodern, sort of secular, this view of the world that nobody could be so motivated by religion or ideology that they would kill people for that cause. So let's not even talk about it and pretend it but doesn't that's exist. That's not the truth. So why don't, why are they pretending it doesn't exist? Like the left not trafficking in truth? I mean, it, there are, they're, they're trying to cover it up because they've got a different view of mankind and of the future that doesn't comport with it. I mean, I will say this. If we're all honest, the minute a shoot, shooting happens, we say, okay, who's this going to be? Are we going to have a debate about guns or are we going to have a debate about radical Islam? But you don't go on email and say, I wish it was this, I wish it was that. You never wish anything on anybody. This shows you they're more interested in the political agenda than the truth, and especially when it comes to radical Islam. Listen, uh, it's not a religion of peace. It's not a religion of war. It's a religion of submission. If you've read the Quran, Quran, you understand that there are violent passages that motivate people just like there are peaceful passages that motivate people. They refuse to look at the facts and, and the reality of why these individuals are motivated. It's, it's Instead, they do, it's, they do it's, politics. Why not say, listen, we're not talking about the entire religion. These are the radicals. We That's cannot right. allow these radicals to come into our country. Yet Hillary Clinton, is she wants to bring in 65,000 Syrian refugees into this country, even though she has said you can't vet them. Remember, she said that three years ago. It's of course. Of course because they won't see the threat. They refuse to see the threat. You help the moderate Muslims when you call out the radical Muslims. When you pretend like right. there aren't radical Muslims, then they all get lumped together. You're actually discriminating. And you know what? Who cares whose name it is? Saeed Farouk or Christopher Hayes? It doesn't matter. If they're motivated by radical Islam, that's what matters. That's the problem. That's right. right. Thank you, Pete. Thank you.